Hey RV friends, RV Monster Dan here, and welcome to our new channel. We're just getting started on our RV videos, so please check us out and forgive us for our rookie mistakes. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. If you think we need practice, give us some pointers and we'll do our best. We, my wife and I, recently retired and hope to share some tips and tricks that we've learned over the past nearly 40 years of RV. We've owned everything from a pup tent to a pickup shell, a Class A, a couple of Class Cs, a toy hauler, and currently we have a tow behind camper trailer. We've made most of the mistakes and are still learning. I feel like with this new channel, we might be able to share some of our experiences and hopefully help some others avoid some of the potholes. We live in Central Florida. Our favorite camp spot is Fort Wilderness Campgrounds in Walt Disney World. Having four grown daughters who've moved away to raise their own families, we have a little different approach when visiting theme parks. We don't normally have small children, so we usually take a little different path. We prefer shorter days, and we deliberately skip many of the high-speed, high-energy rides with long lines. We opt for the more adult-type activities. We enjoy the restaurants, the gardens, the beautiful scenery, music programs, and we usually like to find an adult beverage somewhere along the way. The Magic Kingdom will always be our favorite. Most times, we opt to visit on the off days. We stay away from the holidays and avoid spring break, summer vacation, and any time when there's a lot of folks there. We like to do Tuesday through Thursday and avoid the crowd. We are also annual pass holders at Disney. We have the limited schedule pass that limits our visits to non-peak times. Perfect, as we can go when it's not so crowded and we could also save a few bucks along the way. Probably our second choice of parks at Disney is Epcot. We have visited all of the parks many times and have seen most of the great rides. So usually we avoid the busy rides and opt for the more casual stuff. Like at Epcot, the more active choices, Spaceship Earth, Test Track, Living the Land and the Seas, these are all attractions that are more likely to have lines. We usually pass these by and go directly to the World Showcase. In the World Showcase, many of the country attractions are either theaters, boat rides, or shows focusing on the culture of the particular country you're visiting. Usually these are a little more low key. That's perfect for a couple like us, senior types looking for a nice tall glass of vino. These countries also have numerous restaurants and kiosks. Here you can find a libation to your liking and you also can get a bite of the local cuisine. The pace is usually casual, the line's short, and it's more suitable for a relaxing stroll and not so hectic as the speed pass crowd. For those who have traveled abroad, I believe those folks have a better appreciation for the wonderful pavilions celebrating the different lands and cultures. The lakeside setting of the boulevard meandering along the beautiful World Showcase Lagoon is pristine. And if you'd like to visit with some old friends of the family, Daisy, Alice, and Snow White are all around with all their friends. Beautiful international architecture is everywhere. And when you get weary from all that international food and wonderful beverage excitement, you can take a casual boat ride. Also, if you're in need of a cool pint, or fish and chips, they got you covered there as well. Gardens, flowers, beautiful tropic plants are abound. So much to see and experience at what can be a much more casual and manageable pace for adults. 
especially seniors. If you're looking for more of a relaxing day, Epcot could be the ticket. Maybe a day in between two other more active days at the other parks. Epcot offers a relaxing walk on the lake, an international snack, and a cool beverage. What could be better than a casual day at Epcot? A wonderful Disney theme park with maybe a slightly more casual vibe. This is Dan, the RV Monster from beautiful Central Florida. Thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon.